A man who called himself Divine. Born into obscurity, this son of freed slaves labored in gardens till taking the name Reverend Major Jealous Divine. He claimed to be God, preaching in the South and sharing teachings of Fillmore turned into his own. He rejected gender categorizations and demanded celibacy from his followers, even those married in the eyes of God and government. Divine often ran afoul of local pastors and the law, frequently facing accusations of lunacy, scandal, and disturbing the peace, yet always managing to escape without significant punishment. He headed north to Sayville, New York, where he and his followers were the first black homeowners in town, and where he began to garner interest from whites as well. Divine moved into Harlem and his group grew and grew. He named it the International Peace Mission and started buying hotels, calling them heavens and allowing his disciples to live in them affordably while seeking employment. Divine set up peace mission posts elsewhere in America and began to attract followers worldwide. He served massive communal meals that he called holy banquets, feeding thousands at a time during the Great Depression and spreading his questionable message to the hungry guests. Divine was a man of contradictions. He was a charismatic preacher who conned followers into believing in his divinity. Some say he was a courageous civil rights advocate. Others say he was one of the first modern cult leaders. He demanded chastity and charity, yet faced rumors of sexual misconduct and swindling until his dying day. A shepherd and a charlatan, a capitalist and a communist, a prophet and a profiteer, preying on the poor and gullible even as he claimed to serve them, committing crimes of man in the name of God. Divine?